In the previous video, we have seen how to install two node cluster. In this video, I am going to add a node to the existing cluster. It will be node C and the server name is SQL sent OS3 and the IP address is dot one one four. We have used the IP address one one one, one one two, and one one three, and we are going to use IP address one one four for the new node. And we are going to add the node to the existing cluster. Uh, I have installed the Linux server. This is my the new node. I am going to add this node to this uh, cluster. Uh, this is my uh, storage server, and then node one, node two, and this will be node three. I have installed the Linux server. Uh, CentOS, and then I installed the SQL Server service uh, running on that server. All right, so these are the three nodes here, and let's check the status of the cluster. Right now, the cluster is uh, Linux cluster, and, and it has got two nodes configured, and the SQL Server cluster is running on node one, uh, which is node A. Okay, and this is the new node, and I have installed. Okay, it looks like I have not installed the SQL Server. Uh, let's install. All right, let's install the SQL Server. So it's going to be very quick. Download the repository. And then install the latest cumulative update. Okay, while it installing, we need to uh, configure the other nodes uh, to use the new uh, new node IP address. So let's go to the node A, open the host file, and we have to enter. This is our the third node we are going to add. So let's copy this. Uh, Save it, go to the node B. Okay, the SQL Server is installed. Now let's uh, configure the SQL Server. Okay, it's running. Uh, let's uh, okay. We have added uh, all the entries into the host file, and also we updated the new node in the other two nodes. That is first step uh, in adding the new node, and let's see what else we need to do here. Uh, firewall. I think we have to stop the firewall. Otherwise, we have to open the firewall ports. Let's stop it, and then disable it so that the server don't start it when it reboots. Uh, let's stop the SQL Server, and then disable it. Uh, status fine now we need to create the mount points so let's create the data folder logs
and then log into the MS SQL account and then remove cannot access the data folder why not okay so there is no we need to copy the server um, master key i think i forgot to add that step here uh, let's copy the server master key It should be active server, whichever node, I will say active node, server master key to the new node. So let's, uh, I would say, let's stop the cluster on all the nodes And then copy the server master key All right, we copied the server master key. Now we can start the cluster on all the nodes. All right, let's create the credentials for accessing the SMB share on node 3 
all right i think we have to install the samba client i guess all right uh, let's uh... okay yeah we need to install this one okay i think that should be fine let's uh, install the samba clients that's why it is failing let's install this as well because anyway since we have the internet connection let's install the high availability packages all right now let's uh, follow the next steps We have stopped the firewall and then we stop the SQL server. Then we created the, sorry, we copied the server master key and then we have created the credentials for some uh, client to use. And then we have verified we can access the share folders and now we can test it out. Yeah, we can mount the share folders and then let's reboot the SQL sent to OS3. All right, we rebooted the SQL sent to OS3, the new node that we are going to add, and then we have to install the pacemaker now. Uh, we have created the pacemaker account in the SQL server, so we don't need to do that. Okay, so what we have done is we have created this file, the credential file, and it has the, the SQL Server login and password that, so that Pacemaker can log into the SQL Server. We have disabled the firewall, so we don't need to add these ports in the firewall. Uh, we need to install the Pacemaker. Let's install the Pacemaker. Yeah, it's already installed because when we install the Linux server, we have selected the high availability add-ons, so it's, it's it's already installed. So now we don't need to do that. Now we can very well disable the the NAT network. We don't need the internet anymore. 
and then now we have to set up the password for the cluster all right now let's enable the the cluster services and then we install the high availability package so we don't need to do this now we, we need to add the node sql sense os3 to the existing cluster uh, let's uh, enable the cron cron d service and then authorize the SQL sent OS3 to join the existing cluster. Okay, it's authorized. Now we need to add to the cluster. So it says uh, etc corosync uh, configuration no such file or directory okay let me do this do some research and then uh, i will resume the video all right i found what the issue is i ran this command on sql sent os3 server but i have to run this authorization command on one of the existing nodes so i i ran the command on node a first i ran this uh, cluster authentication and it authorized on node a and then i added the the new node on existing uh, cluster okay then it worked fine uh, so that was the issue and then yeah that's pretty much it uh, now all you need to do is just uh, if you say pcs uh, status Now it's going to show all three nodes are online. Now you can reboot this server. Yes, now you can see all three nodes are online now. That's how you add the node to the existing cluster. Now let's see if we can fail over um, the resource to the new node that we have added let's fail over Okay, now you can see the SQL server, it is running on SQL CentOS 3 now. Uh, we need to clear the resource constraint. No more constraints. All right, now let's uh, remove the node. Whatever the node that we added, now let's remove that node. It's just one command. You just say uh, remove that node that's it it will remove the node from the existing cluster 